the science, the iron worker surrendered sleep, and a thousand cups of coffee later, his master plans were near complete. His neighboured ones and family ones had long since refused to speak. His stock of character casts were now his only dumb company for the past 11 weeks. To shine a torch which blind an eye, as bronze and copper and tin and lead, chickens, mice, bulls and sheep, hid in pairs, padlocked in his shed. Slide into domestic 
description. Most of all, I fear that the day when computers eliminate the ability for humans to understand all this. What will they write about when all the buttons have been pressed? Well, you can guess, and I will try my very best to battle against and with printing words on paper. Oh, we know this music is a fatal sound to create. It puts a strain on the head and heart to create. And words lose all their power if you're not sure how to set them up properly. You can plug in a computer and your hand leads by your heart. One of those swivels, chairs, you don't see anymore, but please be careful, it doesn't take much to press two keys instead of one, thus creating a new globe of writing, the excitement is just another way to express these statements. Green four legs. Button eyes, feathery belly, bullfrog, stump. ways an early computer form.
some kind of heaving heart beats, beats in, in the, the milk. milk. Some kind hearted stew to scoop it up and dry. Its leg bleeds and panic signals the loud and clear. Legs work in pulses by the saucer side. Bubbles of soap and grease, and is buried wetly down the plug. Tiny creature, such, such bad, bad luck. luck.
It's too cold at the moment to think of the stars. It's too cold to handle their shapes. Their cosmic twinkles are looped in a figure of eight. The strung up frozen moon will be daylight soon enough and we all have to deal with new curved shapes we're all gonna have to deal with new curved shapes Open up the slices, she said, open up the side. So with her advice in mind, and with the stillness in the skies, we ripped apart a mountain, and the grass caught fire and it fried. Yeah, we ripped apart that mountain, and the grass caught fire and fried. Daylight warmed us. It warmed, warned me of the shivering leaves. Beacons flashed on the builds of gulls, and a single feather dropped into the sea. It dropped silently into the sea, and I swam out into the water and cast out a net. But I scooped up sea buds, a scoop up of crabs to stuff and to stiffen out cloudfish and puffers of prawn to drain out the ocean through the seabed and I laughed as my cape of seaweed turned bloody red I just want to live where they don't know my face 
turn around now, you'll see me in natural light, blow out those candles now, we'll make our own life tonight. Your hand touches the line that separates man from his wife, if it's to us that they write about, we best be married tonight. And if you write about love, please spell my name right. Please blood, those candles will provide our own light. Relax, it doesn't have to be a silver sword that strikes you dead in the woods. Would you drive into the trees just to prove a point? Here comes the candles. The candles and light the head. Next time your words are dry. Here comes the candles. The candles and light the head. Next time your words are dry. Harlequin, the darkest part of the sky, because when you study diamonds, you don't look into their light, in fact, when you look through windows, you're only looking at glass, passing any number of dust plates, distortion, when you hear yourself laugh. active when canned, canned in darkness, I open up the tin for the sunlight skewer, they'll drain away, this is much like any moment without pause, any normal day, I stoop down to avoid sunlight, or a very rude natural torch, so I pedal our night boat with rickety boards, feathery oars, I stop, you write a singular line, Harlequin, made us, amaze us, duplicate us. It cannot be done, was his reply. You as people are all unique, but I am delighted to be asked. I am delighted to be in your mind.
yet been requised as to why you have not seen Quinn. Well, in truth you have, but like a spy on a platform stands, you cannot recognize this man. Harlequin governs all people of all creeds. His blueprint plaster casts have only once been superseded by another god not of your concern. So forget, as muffins of wisp learn to forget and fall from dead dandelion stalks. Harlequin, so obnoxious, even fox in his den, with sharpened senses and pinprick ears, finds his radar worthless and is left with no option but to turn tail back to bed. Waxwork echoes down through the years, all our candles have turned to dust, a passing page of an old rock book states, all gold is not true, some are grit and some are stone, some are precious and others are found, then the book turns shut and a mayfly falls to the ground. Drummers lay to rest. Put the music in its coffin and shut the damn chest. A foot in the shadow ring, the dark and nebulous ring, pierced to horns and twists of wire, candid claws and magnum of eyes, keepers of the key to my mind. Silent duo of finger and thumb, pinch to flame and the candle is dead, a waxwork corpse just crying wax tears, an echo of laughter from the heart of the sky, a hole in the ring where our shadows crack and dry. Put the music in its coffin. Music in its coffin. Put music in its coffin. Nocturnal middle rumbles, 
figure falls out of the alley Figure calls a cast of fancy And figure looks a lot like me and Clay Forget all wind and hailstones Forgive umbrella for pushy nature Let rain and sleep damp hair and shoulders The honesty of pneumonia is reward enough Eternal middle rumbles Figure falls out of the alley Figure calls a cast of fancy And figure looks a lot like me and Clay Coffee and warmth of clutch An open fridge door And wind at the roundabout A chilled spine of cheese And a glass of dark brew Sets almost any winter fears Fact, packed up, packing and warmth in the week on Zoom. Nocturnal middle rumbles, figure falls out of the alley, figure calls a cast of fancy, figure looks a lot like me and Clay. The 
language of muscles sweep straight into my head. I think I've just eaten a horse's head. As I fall over the corpse Where all raw meat of a certain soft The fat around my waist is in the frying pan The animal oil is hot like caveman Makes it with my face. Toads and frogs swim down my face. They lay their spawn nests in my liver and heart. I smell the meat is nearly cooked. I smell I am Mr. Horse Meat Cakes. For the first time, I know it's gonna work out just fine. I know it's gonna work out just fine. I wait and wait, stand right figure at the door. Blood runs pumping heat into my eye. I feel like I've just eaten a horse's head. So stand up and raise your hands into your heart. If you feel like a boiled horse's head, the dark green veins and pockets of fat, the pillow of red meat and the smell of rats. Glove 
moved up and out of sight, with wings plucked and plumed all right, to be seen without my fur, in any age, in any year. Gloved up and out of sight, with wings plucked and plumed all right, to be seen without my fur, in any age, in any year. itself off or down, self-defense as all things wing, love light and heat, only ovens are safe, for beating wings know to heat is to cease to breathe. Eyes and ears look inside, the heads of hornet hordes, finding only slow signs and no compassion, reminding all of an aeromotive devil or a similar but larger type. German film music is gathering from behind.
I'm looking for something that's as rare as it is fine. They're scattered on fields and on carpets inside. I'm turning over cushions to find. I'm taking up rugs and stripping sheets off beds. I'm going out of my mind. These tenants, they pay no expenses and they are so, 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 so shy.
you're holding all your feathered stock away from sunlight and calm. I hear them screaming, prattling on, yet cannot see them in this dark. A stray claw comes up and out its skin and carves a red rose into my arm. The beaks of its flesh, thirsty tongue, lap up liquids from my cup. down by poultry, not to see, if they could laugh, I heard them then, the softest touch, the sweetest song, like diamonds collecting in the air, like mice and rats up in the loft.
he has since the boy of God. Now a man of 39, and his brain had worked out that for three decades plus he had been deprived. singled him out and then hunted him down. Is correct. They belong on a wheel and not in a gut. 
who don't catch doves, eating ice delights, and horses eating mushrooms, do not compute, and tigers don't crave the victorious sponge. No dog fancies lemon, no cat tangerine, no eagle omelet, no lizard ice cream, and so sweethearts, please pay heed, no mouse in the mouth, no matter how grand the idea may seem.
hands clean. Keep fingernails in pristine condition. When touching objects pulled from the branches, or things that do best under blankets of soil. A cat is not likely to ask for a wash, and parsnips in shower caps are not all that common. And I can't recall the last time with fruit or harvest produce volunteered to put on its bathing costume, keep them underwater and scrub their skins clean. and abetted by brushes and things. Keep them underwater and wash what you eat. Aided and abetted by brushes and things.
to watch the water that is in your life. Filter out impurities and try hard to find. Aquavermin, the cancers of H2O. Stray fish that pass up through the plug holes. them on a seven inch so long ago. It comes to something when I can say with the truth to be on your guard from freshwater snails or small sorted plant life when you're in the bath. And it's no occasion to laugh when I recount the tale of when shrimp hit the slip mat and prawns got a bit involved. No occasion to laugh when I recount the tale of when shrimp hit the slip mat and prawns got a bit involved. In the lavas and soap suds and the food preferred by whales, plankton found refuge under my fingernails, so perhaps on reflection it's best not to wash and let the lessons learned here be the ways of your world.
no occasion to laugh when I recount the tale of when shrimp hit the slip mat and prawn got a bit involved. To be encouraged by the British Embassy, to be arranged with the national press, to be answered by guards, to be alive. Oh, I like that. Repeat it in the aisle. To be lost in a small coastal town. To be echoes right through Europe. To be an engineer. To be trained. Oh, don't say that. Stop. It's in the hole. <laughs> <laughs> to be born again as a boy. Oh, don't say that. Do you mean it? To be a faded birth certificate. To have a British citizenship. To play ball games. To be killed. I don't look at it as loneliness, I look at it as solitude. taken off one of those hats or medieval helmets. I 
I've got a photograph of me with a python round my legs. Imagine a king cobra. Aren't they the largest venomous snake? There are 4,000 wild cats in Britain around this time. You'll find them all in six days, or you probably never will. I saw a lighthouse in the night, pushing beams of light at me. I turned away and to forget. I saw a lighthouse once in a while. On and off, like night and dawn, then day. Growing taller, like an infant, then full grown, like a man. I took a walk, where colour does not grow, and I pictured myself living there. I got depressed and amazed together, when I thought how quickly time goes. Falls like rain or hay. I pulled out grass and flowers. They resisted, but I'm so much stronger. I will march on and on. I stayed inside my home and stroked rough minutes into smooth hours. I am a lighthouse beam, shining people in the pavement top. Remember when inside to forget outside, stroking the air with smooth swings. I stopped dropping my guard, and I stroke my line of defence, like an unnamed entity resists catalogues and streams of lists. A lighthouse, that's me. A lighthouse that's easy to be with.
through open drains, filling up baths and buckets, spreading hepatitis if you swallow us. Running cold, white ships across it. The captain has told his crew, the ships going down. The tears in their eyes show they understand that they're all gonna drown in complex seas of land. <laughs>
to break free. He cracked mind blocks with blows and traps, and I respected him for that, I suppose. And I knew who would come off worse. Just coming around by Folkestone Harbour now. For some reason the security guard in the dome was giving me suspicious looks.